Hi friends, welcome to biologyexamsorry.com. Today the topic of our discussion is the difference between DNA, chromosome and gene. So we might be often confused with these terms. Gene, chromosome and DNA. The most important thing is all refers to the genetic material DNA with histone proteins at different levels of compaction or organization or we call it by different names at different stages of cell cycle. All refers to the same thing that is the genetic material that is complex with histone proteins. Now moving into the detail. As you all know DNA is made up of nucleotides. Nucleotides are the building blocks of DNA molecule. A nucleotide consists of a sugar, a nitrogen space and a phosphate group. And these nucleotides are joined to form a DNA strand by the formation of phosphodiester bond between these nucleotides. That is how we get a single stranded DNA molecule. The DNA double helix formation is by the formation of hydrogen bond between the nitrogen spaces of these two strands. A adenine will pair with thymine and cytosine will pair with guanine nitrogen space. And this is how a DNA double helix is formed. And this is approximately 2 nanometer in size. Now the question, what is a gene? Gene is a segment of DNA that is capable of transcribing to an RNA. The formation of RNA from DNA is called as transcription and that is further translated to form a protein. So simply a gene is a segment of DNA, a part of DNA on the chromosome that calls for a functional protein and sometimes it may be RNA like tRNA, rRNA or ribozymes. Ribozymes are RNAs with catalytic activity. Examples include spliceosome, peptidyl transferase, etc. So this is a gene. Now moving to the next question, what is a chromosome? So now we know what is a double stranded DNA molecule. This is approximately 2 nanometer in size. This double-stranded DNA molecule is further packaged with histone proteins, the proteins involved in DNA packaging. And this is a histone octamer, eight histone proteins. This double-stranded DNA is wrapped around these histone proteins. And H1 is a histone that is involved in further compaction. And this forms a 10 nanometer beads on a string model, now we call it as chromatin fibril. And this is further condensed to form a 30 nanometer chromatin fibril that is composed of nucleosomes. Further formation include a non-condensed loop, a condensed loop and ultimately forming the metaphase chromosome where the chromosome is having the maximum condensation. So let us see what is happening. This is having the minimum condensation or the basic level of DNA packaging or DNA compaction is a nucleosome model where are or beads on a string model and each unit is called as a nucleosome and this is further condensed and we call it by different names at different level of condensation and we call it by chromatin or chromatin reticulum during prophase or interphase stage where this appears as thread like structure and we call it by chromosome where when there is maximum condensation and that often occurs at the metaphase stage of cell division either meiosis or mitosis. So remember we used the term chromosome often to refer the metaphase chromosome. Metaphase chromosome is often taken for diagrammatic representation in the case of ideogram, karyotype etc. So this is a summary. Chromatin, it is a DNA histone protein complex. DNA is negatively charged where histones are proteins having high amount of positively charged amino acids like arginine and lysine but chromatin reticulum it's a term that we use for the same thing often thread like chromatin that is often seen at prophase stage or interphase stage and chromosome it is a structure formed by the condensation or compaction of chromatin during cell division often the term used to refer the metaphase chromosome and chromosome is a long strand of DNA containing many genes a gene is a segment of DNA that is on the chromosome that calls for a functional protein and RNAs like tRNA, or RNA or ribozymes. Hope things are clear. You are with biologyexamsorry.com. Thank you so much for your support.